Camp is the glorification of character. The statement is of no importance, except, of course, to the person, Loewy Fuller, Gaudi, Cecil B. DeMille, Crivelli, De Gaulle, etc., who makes it. What the camp eye appreciates is the unity, the force of the person. In every move the aging Martha Graham makes, she's being Martha Graham, etc., etc. This is clear in the case of the great serious idol of camp taste, Greta Garbo. Garbo's incompetence, at the least lack of depth, as an actress enhances her beauty. She's always herself. What camp taste responds to is instant character. This is, of course, very 18th century. And conversely, what it is not stirred by is the sense of the development of character. Character is understood as a state of continual incandescence, a person being one very intense thing. This attitude toward character is a key element of the theatricalization of experience embodied in the camp sensibility. And it helps account for the fact that opera and ballet are experienced as such rich treasures of camp, for neither of these forms can easily do justice to the complexity of human nature. Wherever there is development of character, camp is reduced. Among operas, for example, La Traviata, which has some small development of character, is less campy than Il Trovatore, which has none. Quote, life is too important a thing ever to talk seriously about, end of quote, Vera or the Nihilists. Ordinarily, we value a work of art because of the seriousness and dignity of what it achieves. We value it because it succeeds in being what it is and presumably in fulfilling the intention that lies behind it. We assume a proper, that is to say, straightforward relation between intention and performance. By such standards, we appraise the Iliad, Aristophanes' plays, the art of the fugue, Middlemarch, the paintings of Rembrandt, Chartres, the poetry of Dunn, the Divine Comedy, Beethoven's Quartets, and among people, Socrates, Jesus, St. Francis, Napoleon. In short, the pantheon of high culture, truth, beauty, and seriousness. But there are other creative sensibilities besides the seriousness, both tragic and comic, of high culture and of the high style of evaluating people. And one cheats oneself as a human being if one has respect only for the style of high culture, whatever else one may do or feel on the sly.